All right, the first thing I want to do before I actually start fishing is make a, a bread soup. And this will do two things. One, to as an attractor, but also to get the mullet turned on to the bread, to get the scent of bread in the water and get them turned on to feeding on bread. Now, when I say a, as an attractor, there is mullet are going to be are going to come here anyway and the reason they're going to come here is because they feed off the weed that clings to the to the structure here and while i was getting myself ready i've al already actually seen um uh, one mullet swim in so that so they're going to be here but hopefully this will also um, maybe attract a few more in but the main a few more in but the main thing is that to get the scent of bread in the water, to get them turned on to feeding bread. So I'm just gonna put in, put in some bread and then give that a really good mash up. Because what we're trying to do is actually make it, make it into a soup rather than, rather than having uh, big lumps of bread that they can feed on. So just to fine, break it up as fine as I can and the, the idea is, I'm not going to put a, um, a bag, put it, I'm not going to put a ground bait bag down. The idea is what I do, just occasionally, I'll throw lumps of this in, in the area that I'm going to fish. Not, not too much, because I don't really want to feed them too much on it. But just put some in occasionally. And fingers crossed, that will get them on to feeding, feeding on bread which of course bread of course is something they they will feed on here there's loads of boats here moored here and of course they'll be throwing their leftover sandwiches overboard so mullet of course adapt to this and bread is probably in fact it is probably the most successful bait for mullet, for thick lip mullet, which is what we'll be fishing for today. So there you go, look, just a, just a, just a bit of a soup, finely mashed up bread. I'll mash that up a little bit more, more later. Before I start, we'll have a little talk about the tackle that I'm going to be using. And first, the rod. Now, this is a really old match rod. I don't know how old, but I do know it's old. It's a dam minor match rod, freshwater match rod, f um, fiberglass. Now, what, where I got this, I was up country a couple of years ago, walking the high street and just happened to pass a, a charity shop, Oxfam, looked in the window and saw these two rods in a basket. And I couldn't resist going in. And there, was two, there were two match rods, old match rods. This one, the Dan one, and a Daiwa one in fantastic condition. So I brought both of them and only paid six pound each. So six pound. I so say there's nothing wrong with it. And I thought, the reason I bought it, I thought, well, one, it's nice to own some of these older rods that have gone out of fashion. But also I thought, you know, I'm going to take that mullet fishing one day or take one of them mullet fishing just, just for a bit of fun, a bit of nostalgia. So that's the rod. 3,000 size reel and it's loaded with six pound fluorocarbon all the way through. And then got a sliding float. This is a self-weighted, self-cocking float trapped between two stops. So it's easy for me to adjust the depth. And then I've got it straight down to, at the moment, a size 10 hook, carp hook. I've got other hooks with me, bigger and smaller, if I, if I want to change. I'm not going to use any split shot. I'm just going to let the bread sink down under its natural weight. And personally, I like to, my favourite way of catching mullet is when I can see them. Uh, when you can see them fairly close to the surface rather than not being able to see them when they're down the bottom and cast your float to them and catch them that way. But with the sliding float, if, if need be, um, I'll go, I can fish down close to the bottom. But here it's probably not going to be any more than about eight foot deep. Now I have seen uh, one or two mullet cruising around, around this structure here. And there was a few on the right here, but they, they moved out. So I, I think what I'll do is, um, Try different places. Put a bit of put, put a bit, a bit of the um, the bread soup in to try and get some scent going. But I might try try close to the structure uh, where they'll probably be feeding 
feed in on, on the weed here and, and maybe maybe try further out but mix it up but fing fingers crossed we'll at least catch a mullet all right so we'll get get some of this this bread soup in trying to try and attract some track them here we'll get the set we'll get the, get that scent of bread in the water that will do for now I don't want to do too much and uh, put a put a bit more in later all right so what I'm going to do is just pinch a bit of bread if you can see that there just squeeze it over the shank and the eye of the hook And off we go. I'm fishing at a depth at the moment, only about about three or four feet. I say it's not very deep here. Uh, that, a depth where I can actually see the bread, and uh, we'll will if if a mullet goes for it at the moment, I'll, I'll probably probably be able to see it, which is which is fun uh, when you can see them. Still quite early in the tide. The tide's still got quite a bit of flooding in to do. I'm just hoping, as it floods in, that I start seeing uh, seeing more mullet. The more mullet, the more chance I've got of catching one. Oh, that's all I need. Lovely dog, but I don't I don't want him s swimming in the water here. I'm fishing a little bit deeper now. I've, I'm not seeing. I've seen one or two mullet just passing through, but I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not seeing many. So what I'm trying is to fish a bit deeper. I can't see the bread now, uh, and fish closer to the bottom, in the hope, in the hope that there might be one or two mullet close closer to the bottom uh, around this structure here. The float, the float seems to be set, settling great just, to, just off the end of this, this pontoon here. The current seems to be, that's where it seems to want to, want to be. Um, so that's what I'm fishing, which is quite handy actually, because I can stand right back and I've got the length of this rod, 12 foot rod. I can just flick it off the, off the end here and I can stand, stand right back and, and keep out of sight. few specks of rain in the air it is forecast to rain so if it does hopefully it doesn't get too bad I must admit this this type of fishing so I only do it a few times a year um, it is it is fun it's very relaxing fishing um, light fishing just watching the float here and of course you get the other types of fishing you get your lure fishing your spinning or your lure fishing that's hard work, keep casting out, reeling in, casting out, reeling in, even though that's fun, of course, as well. But this type of fishing, just standing here, watching this float, just as if you're down the canal, really, on a lake. Um, it's that, that type of feeling, yeah, it's very relaxing. Just need the fish. Definitely a patience game, this mullet fishing. Right. I've started to see some activity just over, over this side of the pontoon. And I just, I couldn't get the camera on in time. I just actually saw a mullet go for the bread um, but I didn't get it yeah I've just started 
seeing some surface activity over that way. So, yep, Molly's going for, going for it, he's going for it. Come on, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Oh no, take it in, take it in. Oh, it's so frustrating, they just peck at it. Still, still on it, he's still on it. No, he's had it off the hook. Oh, I've had it off the hook, but, but that's good news. At least, at least I'm now seeing, in fact, I can still see the piece of bread in the water with the mullet still pecking at it. Yeah, there, there seemed to be activity over closer to the, to the weed there. So I think what I might try, what I've found has worked in the past, when you see that, we'll try it. He's actually put a smaller bit of bread on. Whether it will work or not, I don't know. This time. But at least there, I'm seeing signs of feeding now, of interest. Yeah, they're definitely, yeah, he's going for it straight away. Come on. Oh, they just suck at it. Come on, take it in. It keeps coming back though. Gotcha. I've got it. Oh. Well, it's not a big mullet, but I don't care. Let's get the net. Got a net with me today. I hope this camera's on. It took a took a long time to get them get them showing any interest in the bread. Oh, don't like the net. Attract, it's actually attracting more mullet, the splashing. Oh, he does not want to go in this net. <laughs> Come on. Out from under there. Oh, covered in weed now. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, it's actually attract. There's a lot more mullet coming in now. Well, I'm absolutely thrilled. Oi. <laughs> there it is. I'll get my uh, I'll get my forceps and we'll get it unhooked. Well, I'll get this, get this straight back. Uh, we'll have a quick, quick look at it. Let's just dip it in the water, give it a bit of life. Lovely little mullet, fantastic. All right, we'll get this back. And away it 
it goes. Right, great. Now I feel uh, now I feel really spurred on now. That's just funny. It's funny how it happens. All that that time I suppose I spent about what time is it? Yeah, about probably hour and a half, hour and three quarters, trying to get them to show interest, and then just suddenly, I started seeing some activity over there, some ripples on the surface. Um, and they uh, and they went for it as soon as I put the bread over there. They went for it straight straight away. So we we'll see if we can get see if we can get another one. But even if I can't get another one, um, I, I, I'm not worried. The objective was to catch at least one, regardless of size. Um, but it, of course, it would be. Oh, now I'm in a tangle. Too many things on the on the deck in here. That'd be great to get get another one. All right, let's try over over the same spot. Only trouble is, there's loads of weed in the way now. Floating weed. We'll pop it by it. I love it. I mean, I saw all of that. Saw the mullet come out for it. Saw it keep sucking at the bread. And then go away and come back again and go away and come back again. And then finally, the float went. Just hope that hasn't spooked them now. Well, I'm going to call it a day now. The, uh, the tide has gone now and it's gone completely dead and it looks like it's going to tip down a rain in a minute. So I'm going to get pack up and, uh, and get, get in before the rain really comes. So that was a huge amount of fun. Just a short video today, but great, great, great. Oh, hang on. No, we're not finished yet. We're not finished yet. No, they're not interested. Just a couple of a couple of mullet came came by there, um, but they weren't interested. They just swam by. So yeah, great great fun. Uh, great to at least at least at least catch one. Just a little bit of activity for a short while, where they seem to be really keen keen on feeding feeding, and then bang, that was it. So once again. I hope you found that useful and many many thanks for watching.